Indeed. Jennifer Delgado joining mm -hmm. us with another look at the forecast as we head into the weekend. And of course, Monday's the big day for the yeah, eclipse. Yeah, Monday's the big day, but apparently we all got the memo to uh, look at us. Look We're at white. Us. Celestial we are all white. Let's call it matching yeah. and all our <laughs> very our angelic. Queen. Yes, we, we are all I'm angels. Missing my halo. Yes, you do have a halo. I do know that. Uh, mine is right down there. Okay, so uh, here's the deal. Uh, yeah, for the weekend, it, it's still going to be cool for tomorrow, but we are going to see more sunshine. But that doesn't come until Sunday. But really, it only matters if we have clear skies and sunny conditions on Monday for the solar eclipse. So let's track it for you for the 2024 uh, solar eclipse. We are looking at some clouds around possibly. Uh, this is the forecast. We started off Monday at 12:30, and then we jump ahead to right around the time where we're going to see uh, the peak of it, and it's still going to keep some clouds around. That's 3:30 in the afternoon. So hopefully, uh, we will be able to squeeze this out and get some of that sunshine to stick around as well as the clear conditions. But really, all across the country, uh, the midsection down towards the south, the weather is not looking ideal for this total solar eclipse. And the next one, uh, 2044. So get out there. Uh, the winds right now from the northwest, these are sustained at 20 miles per hour. We know it feels cool. It feels like 40 degrees right now. In many areas, it feels like the 30s because of the wind chill. Outside, it is sunny. It is beautiful outside. Our temps are in the 40s. We have clouds around at all three airports. And as we look today, it was a cool day. We struggled uh, with those temperatures. We only got up to uh, 57 degrees, and that's seven degrees below average. And our peak wind gust was 34 miles per hour. It was really gusty outside. It was not my favorite day by any means. I need the warmer weather to return. We look at the satellite and radar. Notice that we have the clouds and a little bit of light rain trying to make it down towards the south. A lot of this not making it to the surface, but it's so cold. There's the snow that's showing them to the far west. Well, we're not going to see any snow, but it's going to be a cold night. What we're going to be now is right now dominated by this upper level low, and that will continue to bring that pinwheel motion with the clouds around and maybe a few little sprinkles here and there. But for the most part, uh, the weekend should be dry, but it's just not as warm as we would like it to be. These are your low temperatures tonight. We're going to get it down to the 30s for Quantico, Dulles, as well as Gaithersburg. D.C., we're going to hold on at 40 degrees, but still chilly out. This morning, if you woke up early, you know Notice that there was certainly that chill in the air. So for our weekend pattern, area low pressure will continue to pull away. And then that sunshine, as I said, returns by the time we roll into Sunday. And then we're going to warm up into the 60s. It's going to feel like a heat wave after suffering from uh, the 50s that we've had all week long. We look at our future cast tomorrow morning. You're going to wake up to sunshine. You're putting on the sunglasses. You're going to like, it's going to be great. It's going to be a nice day. And then here comes more clouds around. And again, maybe a stray sprinkle. By Sunday, we will clear things out. High pressure will be in control but hopefully uh, if it could just last for Monday. That's what we all want to know. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, high 55 degrees, a few showers, mainly over towards the east, 54 for high Dulles and 57 for Quantico, and more on the solar eclipse timeline. We do know the maximum will be at 320. The partial eclipse begins at 204, and then it ends officially at 432. So um, hopefully you have those glasses ready, and that way you will be able to experience the solar eclipse. But I think we're pretty lucky lucky to get at 89 percent and then we look at your seven day forecast we keep the 50s around for your Saturday Sunday 60 degrees Monday we warm up no problems with the numbers but we just would like to see more of that clear conditions around and then mostly cloudy here we go once again back into the clouds and the rain but at least we get into the 70s so I guess we have to take the good with the bad and at least those temperatures are going in the right direction ladies I'm going to be going to St. Louis outside there and we have 100% totality so I'm going to be chasing this will be the second time I've chased the total solar eclipse I'm very geeked about it wow take pictures I will no not of the sun, though. <laughs> Not burning my camera, camera out. Look the other way. Yeah. I will. All right, Jennifer. Thanks so much.